Hi everybody, it's Julie. Welcome to Friday. Happy Friday, and that means today is our mini challenge in the challenge. We're going to jump right in. Today we're going to be making um, the little pouches that I love to make using our book pages. Remember, we are using book page bases and making scrappy bases for our April junk journal challenge. And this is mini challenge 4.3, part of the April junk journal challenge here on the Dear Julie Julie channel. So I'm using one of the books <laughs> that I have over here. Um, and we're going to go ahead and pull out uh, three more pages. We're going to make four of these total. Okay. And so what I do for these is I just simply fold them. Okay. In to three pieces. I'll come back to that one. Sorry about that. So... Oh, that one's got a blank piece on it, too. So we'll go with this blank piece right here. Because, you know, whenever you have a blank piece, it you might as well use it, right? Okay, so now, um, if you know what you want to put in pouches, if you have a certain type of tag that you like to use, um, I had some flashcards out that I wanted to use, then you can go ahead and use that to help get your um, your bearings of what size pocket you want. Okay, so I want this to be able to go in and out. I'm gonna put this underneath, and I am going to go ahead and, I like the top of mine ripped. I'm also gonna show you how to do it with it cut. And um, so there I have it, have it ripped. So the most simple way of doing this I have found is to go ahead and come across the bottom and down one of the sides. Okay, so we're going to go across this bottom like this, okay. Up to that piece right there because I know that if I go to there and I put that down that is going to get folded on and that is going to get this will come all the way across then I'm also going to go ahead and go across the top piece here and um, you can go across this right here also Okay, so very simple little um, base right here. And then we can decorate either side. You can decorate this side, decorate this side, decorate no side. But for this, we are going to be using our scraps and we are going to be decorating it. We're also going to be using um, a napkin scraps. So napkin scraps, fabric scraps, and... Um, I'll add in a couple other thing, okay? Okay, so here we have our pocket base. You need four of them total. So there's one. Okay, so another thing that you can do is you can go ahead and fold your little flap like you're like you want to. You can go ahead and fold this over so that it's just the right size. Remember, we're using up book pages, so, um, okay, so there's that, and then there's the possibility that you might want to make it like a library um, fold, so we're going to go ahead and fold this up. I'm going to go ahead and use this straight edge. To help me, to help guide me, hopefully, pretty straight. Okay, so now I have this little folded area down here. 
I'm going to come inside where the big one is. I'm going to use my giant scissors because that's what I grabbed. And I'm going to cut in at, at an angle. And I'm going to cut off this edge just on top of where the fold is. Okay? Just on top of where the fold is. And that's just because going on top of the fold is going to take away some of the fold bulk. Okay? So we're going to fold it here, fold it here, and then we'll be folding it up. And if you notice that you have fold bulk, go ahead and cut a little more off. Okay? And then we'll go ahead and Again, I like to tear the top, so tearing that so it's more level. I'm going to come over and add glue to this edge. Okay, and put that down. And then we'll come and add glue down here. Well, I only used the fabric tab because that's what was here. So we'll go ahead and after this pull out, I just did get new glue. So, so we have glue. You could also use double sided tape for this. Okay. And for the mini challenge and the challenge, you need to use book bases or book pages, but you could make this with pretty much any kind of paper that you had. Okay, so there gives us a very nice fold. Okay, and then you could have done the same thing at the top and had it, um, you know, fold down and have a, like an envelope flap. Okay, and um, so, but we're not doing that this time. <laughs> okay, so simple and much uh, nicer, much flatter. And so we'll just go ahead and do another simple one. That'll fold down. Oh, <laughs> oops, I did that wrong. Come along the long flap. And here. And here. Okay. Okay, so that gives us another simple one. Okay, another thing that's kind of fun, if you have some fun scissors is to go ahead and give it a pretty a pretty top or an edge punch okay so there we have a pretty top on our, our pouch that is not required that is just a an extra little thing that you can do and here is our our third pouch okay so we're going to come down and across the long way okay. that right there is just an extra step to keep it from hopefully um, catching when you go to put something inside of it. Okay? So I have my four base pouches. I would go ahead and make a whole bunch of these and have them ready because it's kind of nice to just have them ready for when you want to, to do something to them. Okay, so for one of them, I want you to go ahead and have um, and use napkin. 
Okay, so you might have the napkin that, um, you might have some napkin left over from the other day. And so I have this napkin right here. And I'm going to go ahead and use this. I'm going to go ahead and come across the top of it here and rip it just because I think that that's going to give it a better, a better look. I want the butterfly on here. I'm not I'm going to pull this off because I'm still going to add my scrappy to it. I just want to put my napkin on first. Okay, so I'm going to put my napkin. Okay, and I'm going to do what I call dry decoupage. I'm going to go to where I believe the outside of this is going to be. I'm going to come across the top where, the, where I just ripped it. I'm going to come down this side because I want that side in there and I'm going to come across this interesting little cut here. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to outline my butterfly. Outline these leaves. And that's where my the inside of my glue is going to attach. Then I'm coming to where these stems are, these leaves, this little rose, this little rose, and that's where I'm going to attach my napkin. Okay, we decoupaged the other day. You can decoupage yours um, if that's how you want to put it on. Okay, I'm going to pull my napkin over to the edge here. I'm going to push across the top that pushes that glue that I added. Okay, and then I'm going to push all this down. Okay, my napkin is attached, although loosely. Okay. And then I'm going to come in and clean up the edges. Just like that. Okay, so I've added my napkin. So I've used napkin. Okay, and we're going to let, set that aside and let it dry. And then... I have a different napkin. Now remember, your mini challenge and the challenge, you do not have to use it in this challenge, okay? So it does not need to be used in your April challenge. Um, you can use your mini challenge and the challenge to help build your stash. You can use it for other projects. Um, so... I think that's kind of kind of cool so here we have these blue morning glories and I'm gonna go ahead and put those on same way now we go around the outside of the tear the outside edge then inside the flowers and then anywhere that there might be other flowers. Oh, I didn't go around the outside. Around the outside is important because that's what that's what puts the napkin down. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and put my napkin down. Okay, so 
so that one has a little bit of napkin and let's see if we have oh good we do we do we do we have some more napkin that will go with the journal that we're working on right now Go ahead and pull this, we'll cut this panel of the napkin off. Okay, and I'm using napkin scraps this time, so. ahead and come across here. Remember we're also going to be using um, scraps from our scrap pile. So um, there we go. Ooh, I like that. Okay. So I think I want to bring it up a little bit so that the napkins on the words because I can cover this down here with something else and so we're going to come across outline it I'm using my Tombow Mono liquid glue this is my glue that I can use for everything okay um, you'll see me use fabric tack a lot in videos and that is primarily because it dries so fast and so I can continue doing what I'm doing <laughs> um, but not I don't I wouldn't use it for this I mean I could but the thing is is it dries so fast okay now if you have your decoupage stuff out then like I said you can decoupage this decoupage your napkins like we did on the video uh, this week okay so I'm just I use the um, you know the roses and things because if As the as where I put the glue so that it kind of it kind of will give it like sorry about that the um, kind of like it's watercolored effect okay so I'm gonna lay this down okay and then I'm gonna start by going around the outside and pulling it out okay be very gentle because it is a napkin very fragile and then coming in and pressing down all those other places that we had added glue okay then we'll come across the top up here and rip you know what I'm going to cut that because it really wants to rip. And then I'll just repair that rose. You know what? Repair the rose. Okay, so I'm going to put, put it back together. Did you see that? I pulled the napkin back down to put that rose back together because I don't want it to be compromised. Okay, so there is another pocket that I'll be able to use with my April journal because this is the, the rose that I'm using in my um, 
April journals. And then I have I have this great other flower here. I think this is from the August assembly line journals. I think this is the napkin that was used in those. I'm cutting at the edge of the panel. And then I'm going to go and cut around the edge. Flower. So that one will give me something like that. We can just play with it on here and figure out. I think I'm going to have it come across like that. Okay, so. Got napkin on four. So if you know what projects you have coming up, or you can, you know, make it, make your, um, make these pretty generic so that you can add them into whatever journal you have coming up. They can all four go into your April journal if you want them to. I've already gone around the outside. Now I'm just coming in and um, kind of going around the outsides of the flowers and the stems just to give me connection points for glue. And I've been very happy with using this dry, um, I call it dry decoupage technique. So we have four that are ready for our scrappy additions. And so let's go ahead and start with those. We're going to put this with the other, the other napkin. So um, one of the things that I know that I, I'm enjoying using um, in my April journal is this music, this music um, paper. So I'm going to go ahead and take that and just add that right on top okay so you you need to add three scrappy things and an, and napkin I'm like do I like that better there or better there okay so there's that. We can add some lace. I have this little lace. Okay, now that's going to take a while to dry, but that's okay. piece of fabric. I've got a pink ticket over here. I'm going to use this piece of lace. 
calm down that ticket. I'm going to add this little piece of that on there. And we're going to put all this inside here as a little tab. And we'll put it on with our tiny attacher because I finally, finally got staples for my tiny attacher. Okay, so I've added my fabric. I've added my ticket. We need a couple more scrappy pieces on here. Okay, there's a spot down here. This will be scrappy piece number two. You can be picky and choosy about your scrappy pieces that you're using. I am using the purple glue stick because that's what they had. And it's been working really well. I've been very happy with it. It does dry clear. And you can see where you're actually getting glue, which has been a nice little feature. We need one more scrappiness. One more scrappy piece. Okay, I'm going to add this, this pink down here at the bottom. I'm going to run it across the, the pile of glue. <laughs> I had a big old glob. Okay, we'll put this down here. That will give me a really pretty pocket to add. Okay, so we've added lace, fabric, ticket, napkin, and our three scrappy pieces. Okay, so that's what we're doing. Lace, ticket, napkin, fabric, and our three scrappy pieces. Okay, there's one. Hooray! Okay, so our second, here it is. This one is also for our, um, our April journal, okay? And so this is a little different where you get to add our scrappy pieces as part of, okay, I like that. We're going to put that right on there. We'll use this glue. Okay, and I'm going to put that right on top. So there's scrappy piece number one. Adding this in, I don't want to. I don't want to cover that pink rose too much. Okay, so that gives us two. I'm going to go ahead and cut across two scrappy pieces, and Scrappy piece. This is our third scrappy piece. 
I'm going to use some of this avocado dyed paper. So if you are looking for things that you've that that you've seen me do and you're like, well, how do I find that video? If you go to my channel and then you go to the search that's on my channel and you search the video like avocado dyed paper, then it should show up so that you can um, find the video where it shows how I avocado dyed that paper. Or if you're looking for the large ephemera envelope then tutorial, then you know you can look it up by looking up that. Okay, so we have our three scrappy pieces. We have our napkin. We need to add our ticket in some way, shape, or form. And you know me, I like the number part of the ticket. So I'm going to add that. I'm not a big fan of this keep the coupon. But I also don't want to have stuff left over. So I'm just going to re remake my coupon or my ticket here. Okay. So I have cut it in, cut the numbers off, turned it over, and remade the ticket. And I am going to go with. Okay, um, I'm going to put this across, but I am going to make it, okay, let's go ahead and cut it. Okay, so I'm going to put this across, this beautiful lace, beautiful lace, okay. I think it's going to be beautiful in the journal that I am a Mother's Day journal that I'm I'm making for April and when I finish it it will be available in the Etsy shop okay um, so I'm gonna go ahead and come down on this side and I am going to put my glue along the scallop edges down here and then I'm gonna come up this side Okay. And we're just going to make a little pocket here. Just a little pocket and it looks like it has a ticket in it but it really doesn't that's actually already part of the envelope okay so I have my lace my ticket oh isn't that so pretty and then I need some of the fabric and so we'll use that another piece of this fabric and this time I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to rip this okay to go across like a border down here on the bottom I don't want to break up our napkin up on top. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and lay down make sure that this is staying down. My little pocket. Okay. So we're going to just add that across the bottom there. So 
so we used fabric as like a border at the base of the pocket. Okay, so these are the two that I have made. Ooh, I can't, you know what? Isn't there a piece of that? Yeah. I'm going to add this little piece of the music down here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, since the part with the treble clef was, and I'm going to use the regular glue, so using my Tombow Mono liquid glue. Okay, so I've cut it down a little bit. And since the treble clef was on, it, it was here, but I want it to be on the front. I just went ahead and, and took it apart and I'll add that down there. Okay. Okay, so that's what I have, my two little pockets for the journal for April. And then we have these. Okay, so go ahead and cover these in purple glue. Add this up to the top. Okay, so there's scrap number one, and we used up a scrap, a scrappy scrap scrap. So this is part of the inside of a, of a calendar date book thing. I'm going to use that crossways. Okay, so again, you need four of these. They need to have three scrappy pieces, napkin, fabric, and lace. And you can put them on there however you want to put them on in whatever configuration you want to use. This, you guys, is from the math book. very fragile. Okay, we'll go up underneath this piece of lace. I want to go across. There we go. And then I can just put that down. I like using this math book because I know the words are 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 good words. Okay, so I've got my three scrappies. And then I'm going to come in and add my fabric. I have this piece of fabric been sitting up here waiting for something, waiting for a job. Okay, and I'm going to make like a little patch out of it. I'm fraying the outside edges of it. 
that will just sit right there. And you could go ahead and sew on your fabric before you add it on if you wanted to. Of course, you can sew around. Okay, come down a little. Okay. So there's our fabric. Let's go ahead and clean up our edges. Okay, and this can, again, remember for your mini challenge in the challenge, your items can be for projects that you are, that you have coming up, projects that you're doing now. Could add the piece of lace like that. I do also have some of the rescued wedding dress might be kind of fun to add piece from that okay I'm going to come over here. So this is the the wedding dress my mom wet, rescued out of the trash. Our friends were helping go through somebody's stuff and the the dress itself was very stained. Um but, and it was old, but it had all these beautiful pieces on it. My mom's like, well, Julie could do something with that. And so she rescued the wedding dress. Okay, so there's my lace. And let's go ahead. Oh, got a piece of music. We'll add that also. We'll put that right there, okay? And that little patch leaves a place that um, you could add a little journaling space right on top of that patch, or it's just can just be there as a patch. So, like we dry, dry decoupage, we're just going to go ahead and add our glue onto the back parts. The back of the leaves and the flowers of this we're not going to go around the outside of it like we did on the decoupaging though so wedding dresses are a great place to get uh, lace I also have a First Communion dress that I got that has amazing, amazing lace on it. And that was cool because it was from the children's department and it was um, like dollar day or something. It was crazy. Okay, so that is going to give me a really beautiful envelope um, little packet, <laughs> pocket, pocket envelope. Okay, so I love that one. Okay, and then we have this one. And so for this one, I think we'll go ahead and we'll start with the math. And... You know me, I like the, I like this ABC thing down, going on down here. I like, it's like I liked up there with the percents. I thought that was kind of cool. Okay, so we need our, we've got our napkin. 
we need our three scrappy elements. So there's one and how about some crossword words? Crossword words. We're going to do that, then, and we're not going to use this. Then we might as well take it off because it's, it's hard to glue anyway. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just put glue behind these. Okay, so... Math book. date book. This is talking about uh, credit appraisals. <laughs> there we go. And then we have a scrap from crossword puzzle book. piece of fabric and I'm just going to put this on over at the edge like that kind of like it I'm going to go ahead and put a piece of this lace down here. Because we have it. And I think that will help bring all that together. This is doily. So this is part of our scrappy even though we are, it's, it's okay to have more than three scrappies. And you can scrappy and then add your napkin and your stuff, um, you know, however you want to do that. Okay, it says single flower on my crossword puzzle so I don't want to lose that okay and we need a lace I think we'll go with um, with a piece of the rescued wedding dress again down and grab this rose so do you have a wedding dress that you're taking apart and using and do you have ideas for a keepsake for family members 
um, using something like a wedding dress. Okay, um, I'm thinking possibly like a Christmas ornament. Um, I have my mom's wedding dress and I'm trying to figure out um, what, what to do with it. <laughs> it's, um, it's very plain. Okay. Okay. So there's those two. And um, I love them. I absolutely love them. And, you know, I'm sitting here looking at them. Now I'm jealous because they have that beautiful wedding dress, rescued wedding dress on them. And my, uh, mine doesn't. The one for the... So I'm thinking about adding a little uh, rescued wedding dress on here. I'm going to. I'm going to just, I'm just going to do it. Just add some rescued wedding dress to this one. And I'm going to do it. I'm even going to add the bow. Kind of cool because I know where this one's, this one's going in the, the journal that I'm working on making now. Okay, so you're going to make one of these book page pockets. Okay, so you're making the book page pocket. Then you are adding three scrappy pieces, at least three scrappy pieces. You're adding a napkin, part of, you know, napkin. Lace, fabric, napkin, lace, and fabric. Okay, so there I've added, I've I've added rescued wedding dress here. I think I'm going to come in here and pull that that piece off, okay? And I think we'll reconfigure it. Oh, you know what? If we go like this, I very seldom use things as they are, right? So we're going to, oh, I guess we need to cut it away from this leaf also. I'm bringing this leaf down. I don't want to cut the leaf off at the edge, so I'm going to pull it down and glue it so that it's on the pocket, okay? So it's not hanging off the edge. Let's take that off. <laughs> and we're going to come over and clean up this edge also. Okay. Isn't that beautiful? Res rescued wedding dress to the rescue. Okay. And... I don't know. I'm not going to add it to this one. Okay. I think that this beautiful lace here is an, is enough. Um, maybe we'll just add this little piece. Yeah. We'll just add this little piece up here. Okay. 
So I'm just going to put the glue on the leaves. And since these leaves are coming down in that direction, we'll just add this little piece right up there. Okay. Because I do like to use up all my scraps. Okay, so you are making four of these book page based pockets. You can either do the simple method or you can do the one that is is flatter and it is definitely it is definitely flatter okay um so and then you are adding your three scrappy pieces at least three scrappy pieces napkin lace and fabric okay did i add fabric on that last one Got fabric, got fabric, got lace, got lace, got napkin, napkin, three scrappy pieces, one, two, three scrappy pieces, plus that one. Okay, so we're good. And also remember you can make these for your actual journal or for a future project. This is the mini challenge in the challenge 4.3 which means April third week the deadline for this is going to be the 23rd of April okay so deadline for this is the 23rd of April and I hope I cannot wait to see what you make um, you go ahead and put your finished the picture of your finished four scrappy pockets scrappy book page pockets put the picture in the april all about that base junk journal challenge i'll be looking for it there okay so when these are dried i'll be adding these into my large ephemera holder that i'm using to hold all the pieces and it looks like these might be able to go like in these pockets back here once they are dry and waiting to go into the journal. So I'm going to put the video on how we made our large ephemera um, holder right up here as well as the playlist for the April all about that base junk journal challenge. What you'll see there is the details video as well as the video for the bases that we've made so far. And I hope you'll go check those out because it really does help my channel when you go watch a video after this one. Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to come back and put a comment in the comment section down below. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye. And here they are, four beautiful book page packet pockets. That's what I'm going to call them. They remind me of seed packets. <laughs>